On the horizon, we can see something called nanomaterials coming our way. People think they're new, but in fact they're not. We've been nanoizing, as we call it, bringing down to the micrometer, the hair-like structures for many, many years. Nanomaterials can come in all shapes and sizes. For example, some of the sun creams and other creams that we use contain, or certainly did until recently, nanomaterials that will be absorbed through your skin into your body. In fact, if you have a washing machine, you may even have had a silver filter which is covered with nanoized silver. What it means then is taking everyday materials and making them much, much smaller, opening up what we call the chemical surfaces so they are active but at a microscopic level. But really nanomaterials open huge opportunities. Nanotubes made of carbon, perhaps one of the strongest materials we've ever seen on planet Earth opens the idea that we can create materials and houses unlike any before with no need for cement and steel. There are of course some concerns. Nanomaterials can enter our bodies through things like creams, so clearly safeguards are needed. But nanomaterials offer unlimited possibilities, new materials, but also different ways of living. The kinds of cars we will drive, perhaps we won't even have transport system relying on that. So nanomaterials need to have a strong social debate to really understand the science as well as the opportunities. <laughs>